Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about a very important topic in IGCSE geography that is case studies. Actually, paper 1, grade 10, board exam, geography, 75 marks. And out of these 75 marks, 21 marks are given to case studies. So there is a huge weight is given. There will be three questions, seven marks each. So total 21. And this weight is, is very important for all the students who are targeting their grades as A or A star. So we are going to learn about the format of case studies. What could be a better format? And there is usually a format followed. Now, as far as case studies are concerned, there are theme one, two, and three. So out of three themes, any three case studies can be asked. Usually it could be one case study from theme one, one from theme two, and one from theme three. So this is actually the pattern. Now here we are going to see what could be the best format, how students can get maximum mark in case studies. So I am going to describe that pattern of case studies. Right. Now let us see first of all, before revising or before doing, before starting, uh, uh, preparing for the subject, as far as case studies are concerned, whenever you are preparing case studies, try to follow some instructions. Case studies preparation required a focus attention. So you need to be very careful while reading the question. Read the question and try to break it. What actually is being asked in the question. Then it will become easy to find out right answer. So to break the question, it is important that whether the question is on our country or an area and you need to name it also. So first of all, read the question carefully. Second thing is while doing revision, these case studies need to be revised again and again so that the information which is required can be stored in your mind. So these are some important instructions which need to be kept in mind while preparing for case studies. Okay, now let us look at the format of the case study. So case studies are judged on three levels. Level 1, level 1, level 2 and level 3. So there are three levels, level 1, level 2 and level 3. Level 1 carries 1, 2, 3 marks. Level 1 carries 1, 2, 3 marks. Level 2 carries 4, 2, 6 marks. And level 3 carries 7 out of 7 marks. This is the pattern. Level 1, 1, 2, 3. Level 2. 4 to 6 marks and level 3, 7 out of 7, right? Initially, when students starts learning about the case studies, they all will be on level 1. Definitely, everybody will be on level 1. But then they keep on improving and they can reach level 2 and then finally in level 3. Okay, now level 1 means what? So level 1 means those answers where <coughs> there are ideas. But those ideas are not described in detail and there are no evidences being put up. I mean to say that simple statement, uh, statements are written for each idea. So that could be level one answer where a child can score minimum one, maximum three marks. Level two answer is where ideas are given, proper ideas are there. Along with the idea, description is also given. So ideas are described properly. If everything goes right, 
then a child can score six maximum marks or if something is missing then the child may score four marks this is level two what is level three level three means complete perfect answer so level three has ideas detailed description of each and every idea and named example and evidences means in level three you have ideas explanation and evidences sufficient evidences are provided and everything is up to the date written a perfect answer which is covering the space which is provided in the paper that is seven out of seven mark answer so everybody should try to be in level three but this is not like jumping from level one to level three it is initially a process level one tried level one answer then go to level two then go to level three once you will understand that this is your level one answer you will improve you will go to level two you will improve and then you will reach level three so this is how the levels have been set in igcse case study uh, answers right now let us what are ideas and how to put those ideas how to keep those ideas on in right places and how to mark how to identify those ideas okay so generally in igcse exams when case studies are asked the students are required to write down minimum three ideas okay for example for a named country you have studied describe and explain the problems caused by overpopulation this is the question so here you have to name the country which is overpopulated and then you have to describe and explain the problems so how many problems you can write you can write as many problems but basically if you are writing for a level 3 answer you need to have at least three ideas okay so it should go as idea number one you have written idea number one okay then you need to explain that idea or describe that idea explain and describe and give at least one evidence at least one evidence or more than one evidence is that depends this is your first idea same way you need to move to idea number two idea number two explain or describe and put up an evidence or evidences and then third idea number three explain the idea or describe the idea and give an evidence this is level three now see idea you have written you have explained that idea and you have given supporting evidence to that idea also same way you have done second idea you have put up you have explained that idea and you have given supporting evidence you have written third idea you have give, explained them and then you have given evidence so three ideas three explanation three evidences that's it but everything should be correct for level three otherwise it may move to level two but if you are following this pattern then definitely you will be in level two at least you will be in level two okay now as far as this evidences are concerned what does it mean to put up an evidence so evidence could be of two categories evidence could be you can put up data or you can put up some dates or you can put up some units or you can put up some year okay so this is a little bit of more statistical okay it is more statistical in nature difficult to remember because there are a lot of case studies given in theme one two and three right somewhere you may remember some uh, uh, 
some kind of uh, data somewhere you may not be able to remember the data right so if you are able to remember it it's well and good if you are not able to remember it then there is no problem second part of evidence is called the specific detail of what place so it is generally called place specific detail place specific detail means if you are writing about the traffic congestion okay the problems caused by overpopulation in a city so if you are writing about traffic congestion as a problem that we all know that that is the major problem caused in urban areas by traffic by overpopulation right so if you are writing about traffic congestion what kind of evidence you can provide you can write the name of the place that this is the place where in the morning or in the evening or during peak hours there are a lot of vehicles which cause huge traffic which delayed time right time traveling is delayed why because there are huge rush and people coming from different directions they gather at a place because that there that place might be uh, a junction right so you are writing the name of the junction and you are writing the timing also that this is the time period when a lot of people will get hurt so they they will cause huge congestion over there this is called place specific information right so this is the method which you need to be followed but remember don't write anything which is wrong okay don't put up anything any data which is wrong okay don't mention a source which is wrong okay you should be very careful not to include any wrong information in your answer okay if you don't have a right information don't write okay use general statements at least you will get some marks but if you are using wrong information then there are chances that you may not be able to get right marks because you have included something which is wrong right so th this is how igcse case studies is to be done right in next class i'll come out with one of the case study okay i will take one case study and i will describe that how to solve this case study for level 2 or level 3 answer right this is what we are going to do in our upcoming class my geography classes are going to be useful for grade 8 igcse students grade 9 igcse students grade 10 igcse students and all the students who are involved in igcse okay this information can be useful for competitive exams those who are preparing for competitive exams for them also this information is going to be useful there is lot of things i'm going to upload on this here in the platform so subscribe share and like okay put up comments whatever questions you have regarding geography try to put up those questions in the comment box so that i can try to reach out to those problems i will try to solve those problems by taking this kind of classes right so this is it from today's session remember we have learned about the format okay the case study we are going to do in another session right another video keep waiting keep sharing keep subscribe subscribing thank you have a nice day bye bye